Shalom, Shalom, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. I'd like to give uh, double honors and the Shalom to all the elders, bishops, and apostles of GMS. I'd like to give salutations and the Shalom to all the hopeful elect. And I'd like to give a Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there who believe in this truth. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai being the true name of the beloved Heavenly Son. This is your brother Yahweh Shai, GMS St. Louis. Back at you uh, with a correction that I need to make um, in regards to a lesson we did at the GMS St. Louis camp uh, Thursday night. I misspoke and I wanted to uh, say Salakia to all your brethren out there and uh, just kind of clear something up because, you know, when you in this knowledge, this truth, you know, uh, you have to speak 100% tr uh, uh, truth. You have to... Uh, break these scriptures down correctly and I um, got excited at the when I was the speaker uh, and I misspoke and I want to make this video to be plain and clear and to come back with the correct breakdown of uh, Isaiah 28 verses uh, uh, 17 18 okay so without further ado, I'm going to get into the video and I'm going to play the video of the part that I said wrong. And then I want to come back with the scriptures and correct what I misspoke. OK, so without further ado, if you bear with me. Here we go. Without further ado, here go the video. I'm back uh, for what the brother said earlier about uh, Hashem, Yahushua, not Karen. Right? And we have an example of uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua not caring. Right? And this is one of the scriptures that uh, it, 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 it really make you sit back and think. Uh, this scripture right here, we're going to go to Isaiah 28, starting at the 17th verse. Right? It says, Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plum. Right? And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. Okay? But this here's the point. Right? And the covenant with death shall be disannulled and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trotting down by it. Damn. So when these trials and tribulations come, Yahweh Shem Yahweh can cancel you from dying. And you get trodden over and over and over again. You constantly dying. <laughs> How you get around that? Damn. Okay? That's 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 Yahweh Shem Yahweh not giving a damn. Okay? Kind, kind. So yeah, I want to correct that. Uh, Salakia again. Uh, I got excited and said the wrong thing. I want to apologize to the to the brethren. Right? Let me um, let me do this. Right? Salakia, bear with me. Um, uh, let's get to it right here. I say uh. 28, right? Right. I'm going to start right there. And it says, Judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. Right? And the hell storms. Right? That means, so, judgment he will lay to the line and righteousness to the, to the plummet. So, um, if you go back up around the 15th verse, right? Because, I mean, this, this scripture go with the lesson. It's just that I, I broke it down wrong. And um, in the 17th verse, right earlier in the in this same um, chapter, it was talking about how uh, uh, Israel was going off, you know, how they were serving other gods. But they had made a covenant with death and was saying that, you know, they 
they did, they weren't going to die, right? They were basically uh, abusing their grace period, and that's what the lesson was about, right? You know, th you know, just spreading the word that they weren't going to die, you know, uh, that uh, no trouble shall befall them and everything like that. But Yahweh Shem Yahushai came back and said, judgment, he's going to lay judgment to the line. Like he's not going to veer away from his judgment. And, you know, you got to be righteous. You know, you got to be on the straight and narrow on the righteous. Because I don't know if you brothers and sisters out there know about carpentry, right? So when you make a line, it's straight. So you have to stay on that straight line, right? Right. When you draw a line, it got to be straight. Right. I don't care if it's a diagonal line. It still got to be straight and righteousness to the plummet. So what a plumb line is, it's like a, a chalk line. You take it and you uh, hook it and, and it got and it's this container full of chalk. What this line is, it got the blue chalk and then you pull it up and let it go and it makes a straight line or you have what you call a. A plumb line, you uh, wherever you want to go straight from top to bottom, right? You um, you adhere the line to where you want to make your uh, your support beam, and it's a weight down at the bottom, and that weight at the end of that line will tell you exactly where you need to put the support beam or whatever, whatever, what have you. So that's what a plummet is, right? Right. So. Basically, what the Heavenly Father is saying, like, he's going to be strict with his judgments and the righteousness, right? And he said, and the hailstorm shall sweep away the refuse of refuge of lies, right? So, people behind the scenes, you know, the, the Israelites behind the scenes, you know, were, were spreading lies, you know, the secrecy and things of that nature, right? But Yahweh Shem and Yahweh Shah was saying, like, the hell... You know, is uh, not 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 literal hell, but you know the trouble that's going to come, right? Is going to sweep away the lies because they they thought that they made a covenant with death that they're not going to die, but the trouble that's going to come upon them, the hell of 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 trouble, you know that that comes down to white hell, but is metaphorically speaking, like the trouble that's coming down is going to sweep away the lies, right? And the waters shall overflow thy hiding place, right? So, you know, uh, the secrets, you know, the lies that they were telling, you know, they're going to be uncovered, you know, they're going to be exposed, right? But here's, here's what I made the mistake. And it says, and your covenant with death shall be a null. So all these rituals and things that they promised uh, to these false gods or whatever the case may be, you know, it, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai was like, nah, you know, that's not going to come to pass. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. So it was like they thought they wasn't going to die. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and this, this verse is saying, no, you're going to die. You're going to the pit. You're going to the grave. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, you know, when the troubles pass you, then you shall be trotting down by it. You know, like a war, you know, famine. You know, um, uh, 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 wars, famine, and the sword. You know, so that's that's what basically what the scripture was basically going into, and I and I broke it down wrong. Now, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai can kill you and bring you back to life and kill you again, which is called reincarnation. You know what 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 he does to the wicked. You know. He, you know, he kills them, then brings them back, you know. Yahweh Shem Yahushai can't do that. But in this particular scripture, uh, verse 18, that's not what he was talking about, okay? And I just wanted to make that clear. And I wanted to say Baba, Baba, Baba Kwasha Salakia. You know, I had to make this video come back and, uh, and do it right because I, I want to... Um, I want to uh, multiply my tokens, right? You know, I, I want to do the right thing, you know, being in this knowledge and this truth. And like I said, again, again, um, Bible Koshra, Salakia for misquoting the scriptures. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully you brothers and sisters have been edified.
you know, don't again, don't abuse your grace period, you know, uh, come unto repentance, you know, adhere to these law, statutes and commandments. OK, because you how about Shimmy Shai is watching. OK, he knows you every step. And uh, as I can continue to grow and learn that these scriptures, you know, I'm going to still bring out the truth, you know. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to say I'm wrong, okay? If I'm wrong, I'm going to say I'm wrong, all right? And I say again, Salakia, Baba Koshai. And uh, this is your brother, Hawashai, GMS St. Louis. Until the next one, Shalom, Shalom.